Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about how to change the visor in a showy J.O. helmet. Now, the procedure I'm going to show you also works exactly the same for the showy X0 helmet. The thing with this helmet is you've actually got adjustability on how far this visor comes down. So it's, it's only kind of like a half sunshade type visor. Now, the nice difference with this helmet, some others, this is actually a proper protective visor. But as I said, you can adjust the amount of drop that you get. And I need to show you this before I show you how to replace the visor. Now, you adjust it using these tabs that just sit between the shell and the EPS of the helmet. There's a tab just here. If I pull that towards the shell of the helmet, then this can lift by one place to give me slightly reduced drop for the visor. I can lift it for one more, and that gives me the minimum drop. So I've got three fixed positions in there just by lifting that and then dropping it back in. You can see there are three grooves in there. If I pull that all the way to the bottom, and hopefully you can see the three grooves if I let you get a close up in there. So set those the same on each side and that'll give you adjustability of the amount of drop. To actually remove the visor, which is what I promised I'd show you, you need to put these into position four. Now, as I just pull that clear and pull it all the way to the bottom so it sits below all three of those grooves. You can't use the helmet in that position because the visor will come down too far but this is what we need it to get it into for removing it. So now you can see it comes all the way down. There's a cover just here that we're gonna pull away and that'll release a lug on the visor, which will clear it. So if I pull that away, pull the visor, that comes clear. That's the lug just there. Rotate the helmet, do the same on the other side. So pull this tab clear of the visor, pull the visor and it's away. In terms of replacing it, it's just the reverse of removing it. So get this tab here that fits into the channel just there. And then we need to locate this lug behind that clip there. So we just push it into place, gently push and we hear it click into place, just like that. Spin it around, do the same on this side, push this flat bit into there until that lug locates behind this cover, clicks into place. Just check it a couple of times, it's operating properly. Now, as I said, we can't leave it in this position. This position's only for removing the visor. So what we need to do is put these in one of the three riding positions by pulling this tab towards the outside of the shell and raising it. That's in position three, so I'll do the same on this side. Pull away, lift, they're both in position three. So that's the maximum amount of drop you can have the visor come down by. If that, just check it if that's too much. Pull the two away, lift them up to position two. If that's still too much, pull them away, bring them all the way to the top, and that's position one. So that's how to remove and refit the visor on a Showy JO, and as I said at the beginning, it's exactly the same procedure for a Showy EX0. I hope that helps you get your visor changed. Thanks for watching. 